In this video, I'm pretty sure that I got what you're looking for. If you're a small content creator like me, I guess you're struggling on how to build a personal brand on social media. I've been studying on this topic for a while and I think I finally got it. I finally found the four most important things to build a personal brand. And I know you heard advices on find your target audience or find your own niche or be authentic or be consistent. But I want to go more deep. I want to get to the core of how to build a unique brand. And I boiled this down to four points. Because I know your struggles, right? When you post something on Twitter or a blog or you upload a video on YouTube, unless you're a famous Hollywood star like Will Smith, it's really hard to have that charisma from day one. That's why for normal people like us, we need to build a strong brand from scratch. So let's dive right into it. The first point to build a strong brand is belief. People resonate and follow strong beliefs. For example, Evan Carmichael, who is a famous entrepreneur, he believes that everyone has a Michael Jordan level talent at something. Steve Jobs and Apple say, think different, right? A belief is also what you want this world to be in the future, the ideal people in society and how they should be. I believe that everyone is put on this earth for a reason, and it's our responsibility to find what that is and pursue a life that is full of joy and fulfillment. So what do you believe in and what do you want this world to become? If you don't articulate what this belief is, your brand will not grow. The second point is stand against. A brand needs to stand against something and stand for something. If you try to be in the middle and try to please everybody, you end up pleasing nobody, right? You need your lovers and haters. And a brand that stands for something and stands against something is really powerful. You see this in human history, right? Democracy versus socialism, East versus West. Whenever you position yourself in what you believe in, you will get haters, but you will get lovers. And that's the only way you can raise your brand's presence. I believe in self-development and self-growth. The more you grow in progress, the more fulfillment and joy you will have in life. That's what I believe in. So what I'm standing against is to live a decent life. To live on autopilot, to repeat the same day over and over again. I stand for refusing to settle and being mediocre. To live a normal life. What do you stand for and what do you stand against? If you make this clear, the more power you will have in your brand. The third point is your story. Why do you do what you do? Why did you start believing in what you believe? Every successful brand has a strong story inside. Humans are attracted to good stories and a good story is made of struggles and overcoming those struggles. The reason why humans get attracted to these kind of stories is because they don't want to end up being suffering or experience the same kind of struggles by themselves. They want to learn from it to avoid that kind of struggle in the future. That's why they get attracted from their DNA point of view to those kind of stories. So your story on your brand or what you believe in, why you believe in is really, really important. My story isn't that perfect, but when I moved from America to Japan when I was 10, I needed to adapt to the society and in a sense I needed to be like someone else. To be an average kind of person and go after the same kind of goals. Like going to a good university and getting a job in a big corporation and climbing up the ladder in the corporation too. And now having the opportunity to live in Germany as an expat, though all the work here is quite challenging and exciting, there's always some part of me in my head saying that is this really what I want? Is this really what I'm fulfilled and passionate about? And that's why I try to put my energy in my full-time job first and try to build a side hustle that's following my dreams and passions. And that's why I strongly believe that we should never give up on our dreams. So what is your story and why do you do what you do? The fourth important thing is value, value proposition. Now what you believe and stand against in your story is quite personal, right? But a strong brand always resonates with other people. It captivates other people's hearts and adds values to them. Value proposition is a different kind of term. It's simply like this. You need to find what your audience wants. That's the first step. You need to find what your target audience, your ideal client wants. And in order to do that, you need to find who your target audience is. And everybody says this, but nobody is really trying hard enough to identify who that is. You need to literally pull out a paper and pencil and write down who your target audience is. How old they are, what are their genders, what are their educations, what are their incomes, where do they live, which country, what do they want, what is blocking them to achieve their goals, what are they suffering, what kind of difficulties do they have, 
How do they spend their weekends? You need to be really specific on this. You need to really narrow down who that is. And once you do that, you need to find what they want. And the second step is you need to find what you love doing and what you're good at. Now that's the hard part, right? You need to make an inventory of what you're really capable of doing, what kind of skills you have, and what you're passionate about. And to find this interception of what they want and what you're capable of providing, most people will get stuck here. My tip on this is to find who you are and what you wanted five years ago. In my case, I was just focusing on my work, my full-time job. In my case, I would wish to know that artificial intelligence, AI, might replace my job. And my job in the future, like five years, ten years later, might not be secured. And also that if you tap into your potential and find your own passion, we all have the possibility to go after our dreams and be financial free. So it's easy to get stuck on what you can really provide value to your ideal customers. But if you find a way to give advice five years ago to yourself, things might get easier. So to sum up, a strong brand always has a strong belief, a thing that they stand against, a story on why they believe on what they believe, and a value proposition. On top of that, I would like to leave you with one more thing. And that's to be yourself and be authentic. Different is always better than better. But the key thing here is that being yourself alone is not that powerful. You need to become better than who you are now to become great. Obviously, all the brands out there keep on reinventing their products, right? The iPhone always has a different version, so you always need to upgrade your software. You need to always upgrade yourself and keep on improving. You can't just lie on the bed and eat Doritos and watch Netflix all day long. That might be you, authentically you, but in order to build a personal brand, you need to keep on developing. You need to keep on improving yourself so that people get inspired from you. So if you like this video, I know you like this one because you can find your purpose in life. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey, and this channel is about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.